Hi everyone, it's Wednesday again. Here we go. It's August 21st, huh? And today's the feast of St. Pius X. Uh, just a little announcement, uh, you know, this weekend we'll still going to be still be in the gym, and then the following weekend we will be uh, in, this, in the church, God willing. Please keep praying for that. Uh, we have this wonderful uh, little ministry called St. Monica's Ministry, which is really about um, people praying for their loved ones who aren't practicing the faith. And uh, we're having a little holy hour on uh, Tuesday night on the 27th of this month, which is the Feast of St. Monica. And uh, the bulletin says it's going to be at Queenship, but because we're still working on it, it's going to be at uh, BVM. So just check your calendars. You want to pray with us. It starts at 6 o'clock with a holy hour. Pray for all those who have gotten away from the faith, and we worry about that. And then I'll be giving a little talk, and then there'll be a little prayer service as well. So that'll be Tuesday, 6 o'clock at Assumption BVM, not at Queen Chip. Okay, thank you. In the last few days, of, especially Monday and Tuesday, the readings for daily Mass have been about like the rich young man. He had everything, and Jesus said, go sell all you have, give to the poor, and then you'll have treasure in heaven. And then again, the disciples uh, on Tuesday, yesterday, the Feast of St. Bernard, they were saying to Jesus, we've given up everything for you, you know, and uh, sometimes you can feel that, you know, Lord, I've done everything. You know, what am I getting out of this? <laughs> kind of that humanness of the disciples and that little disciple, that voice can be inside each one of us. What about me? And Jesus responded to them, you know, no one who's given up fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters for the sake of the kingdom won't be rewarded a hundred times over. But here's the point. So often in life, in the spiritual life, we're called to let go. Uh, sometimes we call it surrendering, you know? And in the world, when you surrender, you lose, right? I surrender, right? Whether you're in a sport, I surrender. Uh, or if it's in a battle or in a nation against a nation in a war, you surrender, you lose. In a spiritual life, it's different. You surrender to win. Because the truth is, we're all sort of grasping at life, right? We, we have these different desires and things we want to do, and I'm going to make more money and buy this stuff and get this and get that. And we're basically, as I've said before, uh, trying to fill a hole that's inside us. And we all have this hole inside us, really, that's a result of original sin. And we're trying to fill it with material things, but it's a God-sized hole that only can be filled by God. And that's why we as Christians so often talk about fasting and abstaining, letting go of things. And some of the things we fill ourselves with aren't even necessarily evil or wrong. They're just not God. And that's why when we start to give things up, uh, you fast from something, you know, technology or ice cream, whatever you fast from, you feel an emptiness inside you. And you also realize how attached you are to things. Give something up for a while and you feel that, oh, I really want to go to that. See, that's all part of the starting of addiction is really what it is. So here's the thing. When we let go and we let it go, then we have an opening there for God to come in. But it feels uncomfortable. When we let go, we feel an emptiness. But that emptiness is a gift. And it's not a feel-good gift. It's a gift because it's an opening for God. But sometimes we're holding on to so many things, God can't get in all the way. There's a, so we have a little compartment for God in our life, and then we have everything else we want to do. And so I'll say my prayers and get, get God out of there, and then I'll do what I want to do. Do you see the problem there? God's calling us to let go of everything so that he can fill us completely. So think of it as this week, maybe the um, picture image would be the grasping we can do for life. I want this. I want this. What about that? I'm trying to fill myself because I feel empty inside. Let go of all of that. Surrender to win. We let go of it, and instead of clenching, we open up our palms, and we say, Jesus, you fill me. And for Christ to really fill us, we have to allow ourselves to experience the emptiness, and that doesn't feel good, but it is an opening for God that he then can fill us. So this week, let's ask God to reveal to us what it is that's getting in the way of our relationship with him. What am I grasping onto that I just need to let go of? so that God then can enter into our hearts and our lives in a deeper way. Because in a spiritual life, you surrender to win. God bless you.